I'm really happy to have everybody here, and we're going to be talking a little bit about some dog training. First, I'm going to give a little introduction. My name is Allie Schulmeyer, and I'm so excited to be doing this. Um, I did have this originally scheduled to be done outdoors, but the weather and the cold has not really permitted that, so we've had to do a little bit of adjusting. We've moved it inside. So let's go ahead and just get started, and I hope that's okay. My name is Allie Schulmeyer, as I said. And I'm going to be teaching y'all a little bit about some dog training and some dog tricks. And my title of my presentation is, Can You Teach an Old Dog New Tricks? Before I get started, I have to be a little braggy. Um, I brought my dog, Grizzly. He's such, he's fantastic and I love him to death. Uh, he is going to be here and he's going to be the one that I'm using to demonstrate. Um, Grizzly, come here. Hi, Bubba. He's such a good boy. He's here and he's going to be demonstrating. He's kind of going to be on the wandering, so we have to be a little bit... Um, you gotta be, you gotta be okay because he's a dog and they're not perfect and, and they do what you want to do. But he's on the floor with his ball and I'm gonna talk about him a little bit. His name is Grizzly and he's the sweetest thing in the whole world. He's five years old, he turned five on Thanksgiving and uh, he's, <laughs> he's a sweet guy. He's a healer and uh, he was a monster as a puppy and that's when we decided that dog training was a must. Um, I do, I remember coming home one day, there he is, there's a good angle of him. <laughs> Grizz! Hi, Bubba. You're a good boy. Yeah. He's got his ball. He's got his tennis ball. He loves toys. He loves balls. He's such an angel now. Um, but I will tell you, I remember a couple times when I had him, when he was a baby, coming home, and I was at work, and he had taken everything on my bookshelf and dumped it over and peed all over it and ate it all up, and I just went ballistic, and I didn't know what I was going to do. So I pretty much was like, I've got to get some help. I've got to do something. I've got to... I've got to train this guy or he's going to destroy my belongings, he's going to drive me crazy, I'm going to end up giving him away, but he's my best friend now and he's actually going to be here and I'm going to be the dog that we do a little bit of demonstrating on um, and I'm going to teach you kind of the voices that you're going to want to use and the commands that we're going to be talking about and I'm going to get to show him off a little bit because he's pretty spectacular. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, some things that we're going to be talking about is why train your dog. I mean, just like I had mentioned earlier, this is so important. I came home one day, he had completely tumped over my bookshelf, ruined all the things that were on it. This is really important. It's just a good way to let them know who's boss, right and wrong, what they should be doing. Um, and this is just important. Um, another some things that we're going to be covering is the materials that you're going to need. I've kind of got them laid out here. And as we continue through the PowerPoint, we'll go ahead and talk about what we need and what each thing does. Um, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that are going to make the process just a little bit easier. And then we're going to go ahead and get to the fun stuff. Why train your dog? This helps them to listen. He was the worst listener ever. You could say his name over and over and over again and that dog would knew you were trying to talk to him, turn his little nose up at you, and he'd be done. He wouldn't want any part of listening. Uh, this is so so when you train them, when you teach them this kind of stuff, it helps them. It helps them to learn, it helps them to, to understand. It's a great way when you're taking your dog around other people. I could not take Grizzly anywhere. He was a barker, he wanted to chase rabbits, he was awful on the leash, he was just, it's like I got a demon dog for a puppy, it was horrible. Um, but I love him to death now, and this is the kind of thing that helped me out here. Um, I can take him anywhere, he stays right by my side, um, I don't even have to put him on a leash, he's pretty fantastic, everybody loves him, he's just Grandpa Grizz, is what everybody calls him. Uh, this is a really, this doing, teaching your dogs fun tricks is a great way to show off their moves. You go around places, he's kind of like your party trick. I'm so excited that I got to bring him here with me today because he's, I get to show him off. I get to show off what he's done. I get to show off how smart he is. And, and again, it's just something fun once you've got this, once you do this with your dog. It's a fun way to, to get to show them what they can do, how smart they are because dogs are brilliant animals. Um, this is also a good way to show your dog discipline. Everybody says dog is man's best friend, and Grizzly is my very best friend, and I know that all of you here, whether it be to learn help other people with their dogs, your own dogs, um, you, you, you're they're your best friends. Dogs are just the greatest animals ever, and, and, and this is, you want to be able to show them discipline. You have to know that not only are they your best friend, but you're their master, and they need to listen to you, and when somebody's coming to the door, if they start to go ballistic and they don't listen, they need to hear your voice and know, oh, I'm being disciplined, I need to know, I need to learn. And Bubba hasn't moved yet. He's still laying there on the floor. Um, and, you know, it's fun for them. It builds such a bond between you and your dog. Grizzly and I are best friends. He knows. Other people can be, he can be amongst a, a million other people, somebody calling his names. But when, when I call him name, when I snap my fingers, he knows. He knows it's time to come. It's time to work. And we just have an, an incredible bond. 
Here's some of the materials that you're going to want to use. Have a collar on your dog. This is going to help them during the training. Um, you know, a lot of people don't like ha dogs having their collars on them. Um, I heard a horror story one time about a couple of dogs that were playing and they, they had their collars on and one of them got their mouth up underneath the collar and it started to strangle them and they couldn't get the collar off and it was awful. So when you've got a lot of dogs, collars you know, may be something that you want to think about, but when you're training your dog, it lets them know that it's time to work. So Grizzly has his collar on now and he knows that when it comes time to do our demonstration, that it's time to work, it's time to do, to do what he's got to do. Um, a dog clicker. This helps the dog know exactly when they are doing the behavior that you want. Here's the dog clicker that I have here. It's from PetSmart. Um, it's small, it's lightweight, it's easy, you can take it anywhere. Um, it's got a pretty loud click on it and I think it cost me like 25 cents at the cash register. It was, it, they're very good and they're good because when you, when you tell your dog a command and then you grab the treat, they don't know. There's so many seconds in between what you say and then what they've done that they could be doing something else and then they don't know that's what you're rewarding for them for. So the clicker is so important because when I give him a command, I click and he knows that's the command that I wanted. That's what I'm expecting of him. So. This is really, you know, this is important. And, and, and the dogs learn, they associate with the click. That's the behavior that mom wanted for me or a dad wanted for me. That's the behavior that I want, not just necessarily the, tra the treats. The treats are fun for them, but it's this, the click that they, that they associate. That's the correct behavior. Treats. I've got my treats here. And this is going to help them, this is helpful reinforcement. You know, they know, oh, when I do this, I get a treat. That's awesome. It's fun for them, too. They love it. It's, sometimes it's fun to spoil our dogs. Um, and then you're going to want a big open area with few distractions because this is going to help them focus on you. It's, it's hard for dogs. Tra you know, training is difficult for them. Dogs don't, you know, they hear a bunny, they hear a doorbell, they go immediately. So you're going to want, distractions are hard to kind of keep out of the way, but, but minimize them as much as possible for when you're doing your dog training and, and have a nice big area. Hi, Bubba. Some tips and some tricks. I'm going to go over a lot of this during the actual demonstration with Grizz, um, but there's a few things that are going to kind of help us out before we get started. Uh, keep your voice loud and stern. You want them to know that that is what they want from you. Really enunciate your vowels. Let them know, sit. Let them hear you. You know, dogs have great ears, but they, you need to know, this is, it's time to work. Uh, be clear with your command. Let him hear exactly what you want. Don't mumble it. Don't say it under your breath. Do it when he's really focusing or when he, she is focusing. Have plenty of patience. Dogs, they're, they're brilliant and they're, and they're usually quick learners, but every dog is different, every breed is different, and it may take them a couple of tries before they pick it up. So you can't think, oh, I went to this presentation, I saw Allie train her dog Grizz. I've been working with Grizz for a while, and this is just going to kind of show you what you need to be aware of, what you need to be looking for, um, how you need to be doing it, a good demonstration of of what you want to do when you get home with your dog. This isn't necessarily, oh, Grizz picked it up in one move. No, Grizzly did not pick it up in one move. It took me a, a lot of tries to get him to do what he does. So this is this is a good way to um, to practice. You want to you want to make sure that you've got plenty of patience with them because it's not going to be perfect the first time and it's not going to be perfect the tenth time. It just depends on your dog and how patient you are with them. There is no such thing as enough practice. Um, I, if you've done it for 10 minutes and you're like, oh, he's got it, he's nailed it, that's great. And maybe he remembers it for 10 minutes and forgets it tomorrow. I still work with Grizzly. We are still learning new tricks and he's five years old. Um, it's just, you, you want to do it all the time. You want to remember it. They want to know. They want to be on their feet. They, this helps them stay young and stay, stay nimble and quick and, and it gives them good exercise. And again, it creates a great bond um, and you can never have enough of that. How the fun. This isn't about, you know, being stern and standing your ground and showing him what he needs to do. This is your baby. This is your, your buddy. And you want them to know this is a fun experience. And mom and, you know, mom and dog, dad and dog, whatever it is, you know, uh, I call it, he's my baby. I call him, I'm his mom. I know that makes me just a crazy person. But owner and dog, you want to know that this is a fun experience and it's not, you know, you're not a drill sergeant. So we're going to go ahead and get started a little bit, and this is probably going to go a little faster than I intended it to, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what Bubba can do. Grizzly, can you come here? Come here. Good boy. So this is Grizzly. He's such a sweet guy. He's mama's, mama's best friend, and he he is a kisser, I'm going to tell you. He is, oh, he just, he loves to kiss. He loves it. He's such a good boy. Yes, he is. And he is a lover. He's a, he, don't be afraid of him. Don't let his size fool you. He's a sweetheart. So. Um, let me go over a couple
couple of things before we before we just get started with Grizz and while I have him here. Leashes are really important, especially when you're teaching your dog how to be leash trained and, and walk on a leash. This is called a slip leash and it keeps them from slipping out of it. And so what you do is, let me just demonstrate. You've got this, it's got a, a hook for your hand and it's nice and long and it's really sturdy, you get good fibers. And he knows he's sitting, he's like, I'm going somewhere. So you go ahead and just slip this through the loop on here and then it creates kind of like a lasso a little bit and then you just slip that part over their head and then you pull and then they can't get out of it so this is perfect for them if you if your dog you know i keep his collar relatively loose i'm not trying to strangle him um and so if they're if they're you know if they're having a hard time learning slip leashes are great grizzly i went ahead you know i'm, I'm such a oh oh baba i'm such a healer fan and so i went ahead and just recently bought another one her name is Paisley and she's just precious she's still a baby and she wasn't wasn't quite ready for this but um so I have to say she this is definitely what she uses we're, we're teaching her how to be on a leash but then we also have this fancy one and that's the reason it's pink because this is Paisley's leash Grizzly has gotten to the point where I don't even need to have a leash for him so I don't even have one in a manly color but I like these because when we take her she gets to explore even Grizz he likes this he doesn't pink can be a manly color too uh, he takes this out and I like this because you can stop her and it keeps it and you can lock it into place. If I can demonstrate it correctly. It can lock it into place and then it doesn't, it's not going anywhere. And then you can go ahead and just slide it right back in there. And it's got this cool doggy um, pickup. You know, don't leave your dog's fe feces all around. So it's got this on here. It's nice and handy. And you can pick that up. And I love these. And these are just the best things ever. Um, so when you're training, definitely try to use a slip leash. This just shows them. Don't slip away from me. Hi, Bub. Are you ready to do some work? Are you ready to go to work, Bubba? Okay, Chris, so we're going to do some... He loves treats. And you know, the funny thing is when I get the treat out, he automatically sits. But we'll go ahead and just start with sit. So I'll just break this in half so that I don't make him a big fatty. Um, and what I want to have my clicker ready to go. See, it's got a good loud click. And he heard the click and he immediately sits. He knows what Mama wants from him. Come here, Grizzy. Over here. Hi. Are you ready to work? So look at him. He's... <laughs> Grizzly up up. Sit. Good boy. He knows. He does good stuff. So give him a check second to chew. I mean, he'll swallow it whole, but just, you know, you don't want to be throwing treats down his throat. All right. So here's another one that I like. I know you're not supposed to teach your dogs to beg, but I mean, how cute. Ready, Grizzy? Beg. Good boy. You said you good boy. And see, he had time to fall in between that. And so if I gave him that treat, he wouldn't know what beg was. So that's the point of the clicker is to get him while he's in the air. So we're going to head and take, and take another one. I love these steak treats. Are you kidding me? This was like a dollar, and he, he'll he eat pretty much anything. Um, okay, let's do another one. Bubba, can you come here? And come up, up. Come here. Up, up. Up, up. Hey, you're being silly. Come here. Grizzy, come here. Good boy. You're so smart. Yes, you are. You're so smart. All right, let's, we'll do two more, and then we'll go ahead and get out into the audience and let some people hear have, have their run with Grizzly. He's a very friendly boy. So Bubba, can you sit? Good boy. Good shake. Oh, it's a high five. He gives a high five. High five, shake, whatever you want to call it. He knows both. It's pretty much just wherever I hold my hand. Can you do that again? Can you give me a high five? High five. Good boy. You're so smart. So again, very nice voice. He does a good job, but he knows. He knows what he expects, and it's all in the clicker. I could do this without treats, but I do it Give him the treats because he's so smart. So here's another one. This one's just, I gotta be a little, I'm gonna be a little bragging. I'm gonna go ahead and put the clicker down for this one. Um, this one took me the longest, so I have to I have to show it off a little bit. So this is my play den. We got I've got my fake gun. Are you ready, Grizzy? Pow! 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 Good boy! And he plays dead. He gets down on the ground. <laughs> and he lays there. He's like, I'm done. I'm done, Mom. Good boy. Come here, Bubba. Good boy, Uppa. You're so smart. You're so smart. You are. You're a good boy. Look how long and lean you are. I'm such a show off. I can't help it. So now that we've got him here, come here and sit. No, you're being silly. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Now that we've got him here, nobody be afraid. But I'm going to see if I can get a volunteer to just kind of come up here and do a little, a little play with him. So why don't you come on up? Hi. Hi. Allie. Ariel. It's nice to meet nice you. Nice to you. Oh. Hi, so this Grizzly. Is, this is Grizzly. Go ahead and just get acquainted with him. Hi, Bubba. He loves to give kisses. It doesn't matter who you are. 
he'll kiss you. So I'm gonna give you the clicker. All right. Um, did you, was this helpful? This is very helpful. Yes, I have a dog at home, and she uh, she has a hard time listening, and uh, she also is not very good on the leash. No. So <laughs> that's what we're looking for. But the clicker well, is awesome. Invest in one of these. These oh, are I just definitely fantastic. Will. They just she's she she'll get great with it. And the clicker is smart. So tell me a little bit about her. Uh, she is a husky German Shepherd dog uh -huh. from Craigslist. She's two in April, um, and she is sweet for the most part, but doesn't listen very well. Yeah. So I know that maybe we could teach her, and she she's a little bit older, so I'm hoping that she listens. And I heard that Gray you were he was three when you started with yeah. him. So uh, hopefully she's not too far gone. No, not at all. Never. You can never be too far gone. So go ahead and call Grizz up. Come here, Grizzy. Come here. Good boy. Okay. Let's get you a treat, and you go ahead and just take it away. Let's see what you got. All right. Do we want to do sit since he's already sitting? Go for it. All right. Grizzy, sit. Go <laughs> or lay down. <laughs> he's excited. He's a treat lover, let me tell you. All right, Grizzly. Come here. Get up. Ready? Beg. Good boy. Oh, my God. All right. What do we want to do? Grizzy, sit. Good boy. Grizzy, come here. Grizz, come here. Grizzly. <laughs> He's so silly. You're silly. Get up, Bubba. Here. Can you get up? Up, up. Good boy. Oh, yeah, you chew it. Yeah. Grizzly, come here. Sit. Good boy. High five. Good boy. You want to try pow pow? You got to give it a try. I'll, I'll try. You got to go try. Just make sure you give him a good bang bang. Ready, Grizz? Bang, 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 bang. Good boy. Thank you so much. You're so very busy. smart. He's so fun to play with. Mm -hmm. Can you come over here and say goodbye? Come and give a kiss. Can you give a bye? Grizzy? Good boy. He's so smart. Yeah, he boy. really is. And can you believe he was a monster? I can't it's believe hard. it. It's hard to believe. I know. At I'm all. dragging my dog. She's like, I don't care about your animal. But. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm excited to try all this stuff on my own dog. Well, and hopefully she is as good as Grizz. I really appreciate you coming out. It's been Thank you so, so much wonderful. for having me. Thank you. Okay, Grizzly, let's go ahead and, and we're going to say our goodbyes. We're going to go ahead and wrap up and ask um, to see if our audience has any, any questions about, about what we've kind of talked about today. Does anybody? Yeah. Um, I, I, I know it wasn't said or anything, but what is your take on dog doors? If you should get one, if it's not necessary. Oh, my God. I am such a dog. I'm pro dog doors. And here's the problem. It's because I'm lazy. Um, they got, I, I'm not home a lot. And that, it's just great for them. He is so tired. He's out of it. He's like down for the count. His belly is full. He's finished. Um, they're, they're fantastic. I'm lazy. I don't like to get up in the middle of the night and let him out. He's a big boy, especially with my puppy. She's figured out the dog door. She's out of there. I love them. I think they're fantastic. Invest in a dog door if you can get it. In fact, the door that we have, we didn't want to ruin the door by putting in a dog door. So we went and got one from Habitat for Humanity, cut a hole in it, put the dog door in, done. So it was easy. It was, it, it's perfect. So definitely something that you should invest in. I like it. Um, it's got a, 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 a grid on it. Keeps the dogs from bringing in, from bringing in crazy stuff. So good to know. Helpful. Good to yeah. know. I also have a follow up uh -huh. question. Um, what is your take on wet food and dry food? Which one's better for him? I see Grizz is more in shape. Is, <laughs> does he have a specific food that he, he eats? pretends to be in shape? Is what he is. He's he's. A, I like to take him out and we we're get our exercise a little bit, but um, we're feeding, we should do strictly dry food. Um, Grizzly has a, a health condition and it, it causes him to have seizures. Um, mm -hmm. He only gets in about once a month. It's really sad and it's kind of scary a little bit, but um, we do what we can for him. And I actually, everybody has told me, my doctor, or his vet, that dry food, you get the ones with the heart benefits, you get them with uh, good health and good metabolism, it keeps them in shape, it keeps them young, and it actually cuts down on his seizures. So I know dogs that don't have as many health concerns. I'm a big wet food person. He knows when it's dinner time. He loves his wet food. I try not to give him scraps from the table, but when you see that cute face, oh yeah, what are you going to do? And so. uh, I also have another question. Uh -huh. um, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, um, what is a preferred age to start training your dog? I mean, I know that older gets a little bit harder, but what, I mean, when they're a puppy, should you wait a little bit? You know, it's probably best to start them as a puppy. I thought when I got him that I was just going to get lucky and get, I, I was just going to get lucky and get a perfect dog and he was just going to know how to sit and be good and I just, I didn't, 
I, I, I didn't get so lucky. So I went ahead and started him later because I was a little bit lazy. If you want to, get out there, get your treats, get your clicker, get your collar, and get started immediately. Dogs are so smart, and it's kind of like kids with languages. They pick it up so much faster when they're littler. So I had to work a little bit harder with Grizz. He's a smart breed, though, so I got I got lucky. Um, but I would, I would say younger is better, but any age. You really can teach old dogs new tricks. So is that is that good? I really hope that I was able to um, to answer your questions and any more questions that you guys may have. Um, thank you so much for coming out, and I really hope that this was helpful and that you can be able to use this in your own lives. And Grizzly, come here. Let's say goodbye. Grizzly, come here. He's like, I'm tired. I'm done. Come here. And we say goodbye, and we give a kiss. So thank you guys so much for coming out, and I really appreciated having you. It's been wonderful. Thank you.